Welcome to our third and final video of the Connect series, where we give you some essential information about our church. In this video, Jane will be talking about mutual care. Clive will explain how you can get involved in our Sunday morning meetings, and Matt talks about our small groups. Hi, I'm here to talk to you about mutual care. One of the pillars of our vision is building relationships. And we believe that as brothers and sisters in Christ, we each have a responsibility to care for one another. It's not just down to the leaders. So in order to help facilitate this, we have the Barnabas team. Simply put, it's a group of volunteers who regularly pray for others and ask them how they are. When someone wants to be linked with a member of the Barnabas team, we prayerfully match them. The pair then agree on a method of communication, such as in person, phone or email, and how often the contact will be. This could be as much as once a week or as little as once a month. We really would like to encourage everyone to benefit from mutual care and to get involved in the Barnabas team. So if you'd like to find out more, please speak to someone at the welcome table on Sunday or drop us an email. I'm going to be talking about the important topic of safeguarding. One of the core values of the King's Church was Beach and Christian ministry in general is to be loving towards each other, building relationships in order to help each other to grow and flourish in our relationship with Jesus. It is with the intention that relationships in ministry be experienced at all times as loving and without intention to do harm or allow harm to occur. To this end, the King's Church Wisbeach leadership makes safeguarding a top priority in all that we do. We are members of an organisation called 318, who are an independent national organisation and are experts in safeguarding, and they work alongside churches and other faith groups. You can find out more detail about our safeguarding policy and procedures on our website. But in general, we recognise that safeguarding is everyone's responsibility. This means that if you see or hear anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, please report your concern to us. Do not assume that we already know about it. You can do this by immediately speaking to a church leader or someone from the welcome team if the incident happens on a Sunday. There are reporting a concern forms on the wall in the cupboard in the Queen Mary Centre, as well as on the notice board in the church rooms at Octavia View. And you can also download this form from the safeguarding page on the church website. Please immediately pass this on to our designated safeguarding lead. If you don't know who that is, please ask a church leader or someone from the welcome team who will be able to assist you. Or you can email the designated safeguarding lead directly from the church website by using the dedicated safeguarding page. Welcome. Thank you. Here I want to talk about our Sunday gatherings, our Sunday service. And in essence, our Sunday meetings are a celebration of our faith in Jesus recognising how we've been sustained and strengthened through the past weeks and preparing us for the coming days. And our Sunday gatherings are a meeting and a meeting with God and a meeting with others, uh, meeting with people in Christian fellowship and friendship. And I use the word meeting particularly because it's not simply being there at the meeting. You are adding strength to the fellowship when you meet with one another. And so in our Sunday services, we provide plenty of opportunity for personal conversation, uh, opportunity for offering mutual support and care, and for, for, for praying for one another. We do want people to meet with God, but also to meet with one another. It is the family of God meeting together and in any normal family there are usually quite a variety of activities and conversations all happening at the same time. So we do encourage you uh, to take the initiative and actually meet with people 
who are attending the services. But naturally there is a structure to our services and uh, we have teams of people who serve in different ways and each contribute to the whole experience of our Sunday service. We recognise that first impressions are very important and uh, we want to give a warm welcome to those who are attending, maybe for the first time. And also to make available to people information about the church, what we are, what we believe, how we operate. And uh, so we do have a, a team of people who are part of our welcome team. And I hope when you first attended, you received a very warm welcome. And then within the service, uh, you will benefit from those who uh, have responsibility in leading the service, from those who preach and teach from the Bible. And uh, we have a variety of uh, musicians who, and singers who lead us in, a, in our worship to, together, um, as well as people who operate the sound system and the computer uh, and words are projected on the screen. And you're be beginning to discover that uh, within the church there's a lot of varieties and avenues of service. Uh, we engage with the children uh, in our King's Kids program with specific age appropriate teaching and activities. Uh, we provide refreshments, uh, unusually as a church uh, midway through our service, but there are a group of people who serve in that way as well. Um, and so depending on your ability and experience, there are multiple ways of contributing to the smooth operation of the church. Um, let me just outline them again for you, specifically in serving refreshments, in being part of the welcome team. Uh, we have musicians and singers. We have people uh, competent with technology, with sound systems and computers, um, and getting involved with the King's Kids program. And, uh, this may be a way that you can serve and contribute to the well-being of the church. But there's also much more. As a church, we believe that we all share in the work of building one another up in the faith. And so whilst leading and teaching in the service are of vital importance, there's opportunity for other contributions. This may come in the form of personal testimony, inspired and maybe prophetic words, um, praying for one another. Sometimes this will be out the front of the service, maybe in more personal and private conversations. Uh, you might have been reading scripture in the week that you found inspiring and you think would be helpful to the church. Uh, there's lots of ways in which you can contribute and be part of the ministry of this church. And exercising the gifts of the Spirit as he distributes them amongst us. We do believe that God gives gifts of discernment, of wisdom, of faith, of healing, of giving, of help. Uh, there's a whole variety so that the body of Christ can be built up, which is exactly what the Bible says, that the body builds itself up in love when each fulfills their own part. So an important part of principle of Christian living is that the measure that we give is the measure we receive. And we do uh, encourage you to uh, come and give of yourself and of your contribution to the services on a Sunday. We would encourage that you find ways of service uh, in and through the church um, in, in, in a formal way in our services but also in informal conversations and connections with other people. you have a part to play in this great work that God is doing amongst us and we find and we, we, we trust that here you will find an avenue of service that will not only bless other people but be a blessing to you thank you very much hi I'm going to be speaking about small groups small groups are where smaller groups of people from within the church meet together either weekly or fortnightly throughout the week on different different days and at different times and in a variety of places doing an assortment of activities. The main aim of most of these groups is to build relationships as this is one of the pillars that support our vision. Although there might be a spiritual element as well in some of the groups. 
If you've been to church before, you will soon notice that our small groups are a little different to those you may have experienced in other churches. Our small groups are structured around a specific focus or interest, such as Bible study or knitting or a book club or a particular course such as Christianity Explored and so on. These groups are intended to run for a limited period of time. And the reason for this is so that people do not feel stuck in any particular group and will also encourage everyone to mix with different people at different times, thus encouraging relationships to be built across the congregation and not just with a select few. We have a number of small groups located in and around the local area. These are changing all the time, so please visit our website to see what's happening at the moment. All you have to do to join is to talk to us and we can put you in touch with the small group leader who will be more than happy to invite you along to their group. Thank you for taking the time to watch all three of our Connect videos. Be sure to register for the next Newcomers Connect event as we would love to get to know you better. Please bring any questions you have about our church with you as we would value the opportunity to answer them with you. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.